Hello my lovelies, once again, welcome to Roots Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweet potato pudding. And for this recipe I need five pounds of sweet potato. I, I put this in the blender. I really hate blending and grating potatoes now. So I just put it in the blender to get it to this way that I want to have it done. Also, I used, um, some people in the Caribbean call it cocoa or tanias. Every country uses it, a different name for it. And you see it's starch content, how starchy this is. This helps the potatoes, which is already starchy, to get its thickness. So I'm going to throw this into the potatoes, the sweet potatoes, and that's the red skin ones. So that helps the potato to get really, really thick when you're making your potato pudding. So that you mix around a little bit. And we also need four cups of dark brown sugar. And if you do think you need it a little sweeter, you taste as you go along so you can see if it's sweet enough for you or if you want it sweeter. And for this recipe, you definitely need to have coconut cream. So here I have two tins, two cans of coconut cream, which I'm going to throw into the mixture. And that's all your flavor, your exotic Caribbean flavor in here. This is a very beautiful Caribbean dessert, sweet and delicious. And you just mix it together. You see how nice this looks? And we put a bit of vanilla essence in there. I'm going to put about two teaspoons. So that's about two teaspoons vanilla essence. And I'm also going to put in some of my Grenada extract, which is, which I always love in my baking. So about a teaspoon and a half. And here today I'm going to use strictly Grenadian spices. My Grenadian nutmeg, which I ground up here. I have about one teaspoon here. And that's strictly from my spice island. So you know you're getting the real good stuff. And here I have pimento. And a lot of you guys probably is not familiar with this spice. It looks like this. It's called pimento. You just put it, put it on it right there. So they can see. It's very, very spicy. Not as hot in pepper. It has this really beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And it brings this very exotic taste to your bacon. And that's one of my favorite. We also throw in some black pepper into this recipe. About a half teaspoon. And of course, my Grenadian cinnamon. Add in a spice straight from the sun. I'm going to put in one teaspoon and a half. And that should be good for a recipe. I'm just going to mix this together to see if I have enough sugar. Just mix it together like this. Some people put cornmeal in the, in the, in the, in the, in the pudding. Some people put flour for thickening agent. I'm a person, I like to just use all the, um, the potatoes and the the cocoa or tanias because to me I think that's really starchy enough and plus I like a more lighter batter when I'm making this and this recipe you could put in raisins and I'm going to probably put a little bit in there after you put a little bit of margarine just a little bit not too much And that should be enough for this recipe. And you taste, guys. You taste to see if there's enough sugar here for you. It's not that sweet, so I'm going to just put in a little bit more sugar. I'm going to throw about a couple of spoons more in here. This should do it. 
you just mix it around. You should smell, smell the spices in here. It smells really good and it's not even done yet. So guys, I have my oven preheated and I have my tins already greased. Then I'm going to put this in. I'm going to do a little taste test again to see, make sure that there's enough sugar. Great. You don't want it too, too sweet. Put a little more essence taste in here. Okay, folks, I think this is it here. I'm just going to put it into the tin now. I have my oven already preheated. So I'm just going to put the batter into my grease tin. And I'm going to stick them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to, I'm going to put it right up because you know what? As it bakes, it tends to dry down a bit. So I'm going to do it right up. Okay, folks. I'm going to go off camera and put this in the oven. And I'll see you guys exactly back in an hour and a half. Because this is going to bake for one hour and a half. So I'll see you guys then. Ciao for now. All right, my peeps, this is the final results of my sweet potato pudding. There we are. It's all done, but as you guys know, it's too hot to cut. So guess what? I'm gonna let this cool off a bit, and then I'm gonna cut it and let you see exactly what it looks like. I know it's gonna be really yummy. Folks, today, if you like what you've seen on this episode of Foods Gourmet Kitchen, please leave a thumbs up. Leave us a message in my box and please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks again for watching. Ciao for now. I'll see you then.